tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The time is now. My plan for 2020 is to become the champion of the middleweight division. I'm going to kill everyone in the ring uh, with a lot of aggression. First of all, goal oriented. We both have the same goal, like uh, becoming champion and like getting everything out of it that's possible. You know, then I'll, I'll, I'll go for a whistle because, of course, uh, I've got something to settle there as well. I live in Suriname, so I begin from my from my training camp. Begin in Suriname, also when I'm not fit to train, I'm also there. And uh, as I get fit, I race a month, three weeks, so from the foreign in Netherlands, to be able to start a team. I box in Vegas, and so how I like to work. Ja, gewoon intensief, alles, alles we beginnen daar, kracht, conditie, looptrainingen, technische trainingen, pestrainingen, we doen gewoon alles daar. En hier moeten we ook gewoon afronden. Ik heb hard voor gewerkt, dus uh, eigenlijk, ik heb er van hem gewonnen. Dus uh, zo moeilijk was het eigenlijk niet. <laughs> nee, nee, geentje. Ja, van binnen borrelt het zeker wel. Dat, uh, dat hoef je niet aan te twijfelen. Nee, nee, nee. Heel mooi gevecht gaat het worden. Hoog tempo, technisch. Ik denk een zeer technisch gevecht. Maar uh, dan moeten jullie uh, 4 september zelf zien. Ja. Maar ik, ga wel, ik moet wel, wel terug naar Suriname, ja. Ja, dat is toch uh, te, jouw nee, thuis? Ja, ja, ja zeker, zeker, zeker. Ja? Mm, ja, Suriname, ik ben daar geboren. Ik, uh, ik heb vrienden daar, familie hier ook. Maar uh, het is toch een thuis, toch, toch warmer, <laughs> toch leuker, vrijer. Dus uh, ja, Suriname is, het, uh, is echt voor mij, ja. Pas beter bij jou? Ja, wel. Ja. En dan hoogst op uh, Donovan Wissen. Oh, dat is ook een leuke, ja. Ja, yeah, you, you know, usually is my guy, you know, but uh, Donovan is... Uh, I think Donovan is one of my favorite upcoming fighters. I think he's very gifted, very talented. But you know, usually he got the he got the heights, he got you know he got the experience. Let's see. I I hope that usually wins, but I, I give it to them both, you know. But usually I know him so. But Donovan, like I said, he's, he's really gifted. So uh, yeah, we'll see. It's gonna be a hard fight for both of them. His goal is to put up a, a nice fight for himself, to learn a great lesson. And I think that's the most he will do. I'm gonna beat his ass. Yeah, he got the hype with him. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna stop that as hard as he's coming up. I will stop him very hard at this point, you know. Uh, just for myself to be go to continue in my path. And they fought once before with Visa winning by unanimous decision back at Glory 65. Let's, let's talk yeah. about, let's say, Belgarui versus Visa. Yeah, that's a great fight. It's a Donovan, it's a rematch, you know. Um, the people that know uh, Yusri, mm -hmm. they, they 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 say that Yusri has grown a lot. You know, he, uh, uh, he's totally not the same fighter anymore that he was uh, before. But also Donovan, he's been waiting for a title shot so yeah. long for so long. You he's know, he's been knocking on the door. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, and now he has a chance. You know, he, uh, he wants to prove Yusri that uh, that. Uh, he feels insulted that he wants to have a rematch you yeah. know, because he, he won the first fight and usually want to prove that uh, that uh, that he's the best. Yeah. You know, so that's going to be an awesome fight. Two great fighters. Donovan is super explosive. Yes. You know, Yusri is uh, man his knees. His the way how he uses. Uh, he's he's very very tall by the way. He's, he's so Donovan was just said uh, that he's going to win the fight. You're sitting next to him. What can you tell him? Yeah, well, I hear him saying that like in every interview is the only thing he can say. I mean. Yeah, talk is cheap. I mean, yeah, he looks great. The suit is great. The glass is great. Talk great. Everything. But <laughs> in the end, it's about what happens in the ring. You know, uh, we're fighters, and that's that's where everything is gonna happen. Right? Okay, yeah. Donovan, what can you say about that? Because he's telling that your your glasses look great. Yes, the hair look good. <laughs> the, the, the style is good. What can you tell him? The only thing I can say is thank you. You know. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I look great, you know, but uh, it's going to be a fight on uh, the 4th of September. It's going to be a good fight. Uh, I'm well prepared. I already won from him, so it's going to be the second time that I'm going to win from him. So, uh, yeah, good luck, man. Okay. Yeah, you tell him good luck for him? Yeah. Okay. What can you say about that? I don't need luck. I don't, I don't go for luck. I go for hard work. <laughs> You already challenged two times for the title. You both, you lost both times. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not against you, bro. Stop, stop leaning on the on the fight two and a half years ago. I mean, if you do that, it's a big mistake. No, no, know? I don't. I hope you changed. I mean, I evolved a lot. I hope you did too. Yeah, I know. I saw it, but uh, it don't matter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Donovan Wisse and Yusri Belgaroui.
Um, Donald Trump was just said uh, that he's going to win the fight. The sitting next to him. What can you tell me? Yeah, well, I, I hear him saying that like in every interview is the only thing he can say. I mean, that is cheap. Um, yeah. He looks great, the suit is great, the glasses is great, the star is great, everything. But in the end, it's the power of the city. You know, uh, we're fighters and that's, that's how I'm going to say that. Okay. Uh, Donovan, what can you say about that? Because he's telling that you're the glass look great, the yeah. hair look good, the, the, the style is good. What can you tell him? The only thing I can say is thank you, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We have five rounds, uh, title fight. I think we're the top contenders of the middleweight right now because it's a vacant title. So we have to show the fans that we belong there in this title fight. Very focused. Uh, it doesn't matter if you talk trash or not. Uh, in the ring, we're going to see who's boss. No, I don't, I don't think he's trying to intimidate me. I think he's trying to um, help himself believe um, that he's going to be the champion. To add my name on the list as a champion. It's going to be a great honor, a great feeling. Uh, there are a lot of theories about that, like speaking it out loud, uh, dress like a champion, feel like a champion, I don't know, fake it till you make it either. <laughs> I don't know what you see is thinking, but from my part, uh, it's going to be a whole different fight. Yeah, I know all those things don't work. You're going to see it as on Saturday, man. Uh, it's going to be an awesome fight, with high pace, technical fight, I think, from my side then. I think that my, my, my skill level is so much higher that I will completely dominate the fight. I'm calm, but inside, um, I'm very excited uh, to show you guys. The world titles, the gold, the dream, it's here. You yes. know? Give me your thoughts on what it would mean to you to, to win that belt. And I mean, you got to think, Suriname has some of the greatest fighters in the world, and you put your name on that list. Of course. Uh, it's going to be a great feeling. You know, uh, I, dream, I dreamt about it. I dream about it every day, the feeling, how it's going to feel, uh, what I'm going to do. but. Uh, uh, Saturday must be must be a great day for me, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys that I belong. Uh, I'll be the world champion. And then a rematch, a big rematch between between Donovan Wilson yeah. and Belgado Yeah. Well, uh, the last time it was very surprising. I thought that UC uh, would win the fight. Mm -hmm. I, uh, the last time they fought, I thought the fight came too soon for Wilson. Uh, this time, I don't know why, it's, it's my gut feeling. I think uh, Yusuf is going to get it. So, what do you think about, uh, about uh, the results of the fight? If, is it, is it going to be Donovan or Belgrade? I think uh, Yusuf will, will take it by points. By points? Points, points victory. Okay. I think uh, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a hard fight victory for him, but I think he will, I think he will take it. Mm -hmm. by points victory. <sighs> yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I yeah. Ask I, you I, about I, it. I, you know, uh, I know them both, yeah. you know. Yeah, me too. Uh, Dalgaris, I've been working with him also, not with pads or anything, yeah. but you know, in the broadcast, I've been working yeah. with him, so right. he became a friend of mine, but it's gonna be tough. Yeah. You know, because Donovan is, he's surprising me every time he fought, he fights, you know. Yeah. Every time he fights, he, he's surprising me. Yeah. And maybe he's been working on some plan. You know, you've been cooking up on plans, you know, you, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, I really, I really can't tell who's going to win the fight. 84.9. Yeah. 84.7. 84.7. Yeah. 84 this is a rematch. Donovan Visa won the first battle. U Street vows revenge tomorrow night. And this time, the stakes couldn't be any time higher. It is for the middleweight championship of the world. This is a rematch. Donovan Visa won the first battle. U Street vows revenge tomorrow night. And this time, the stakes couldn't be any time higher. It is for the middleweight championship of the world. Well, Donovan, yes. 
You've been waiting your whole life for this opportunity, a chance to become a world champion. How do you feel just 24 hours away? I feel great, you know, I'm in tremendous shape and uh, I can be for tomorrow, man. You fought this man once. What was successful that time and what do you have to do again? <laughs> Win again. <laughs> what All right. Uh, what would you like to say to your friends and fans who are watching? Tune in tomorrow and it's going to be a great victory for me. Right. And all Suriname will be tuning in as well, I assume? Of course, of course. All right, well, good luck to you. Donovan Visa. And now to our second world title fight, this time for the middleweight championship of the world. Big name fighters have entered the building. There, Joe, is Donovan Visa. Yeah, Visa's got a big opportunity. This is a rematch against Belgari, so here he comes in now. Belgari looking for revenge and wants that world title. It's his third crack at a world So a massive moment for those two fighters. The same can be said about Donovan Visa and Yusri Belgari. This is a rematch, Joe, but much more on the line tonight. Yeah, in the first fight, you know, Belgari kind of took it a little bit easy, but he has the most experience. He's taller, so he wants to use that to his advantage. When you see Belgari fight, it's about long punches, but as you close distance, he's got some of the nastiest knees. He's got to watch, you know, when Visa comes in, he's got to be careful from those big knees coming up the middle. Belgari telling us, sure, he lost the first fight, but the rematch will be a completely different story with the title on the line. He carries a two-fight win streak into the ring, including a second-round TKO in Utrecht at Glory 75. Here comes Yusri Belgari. It sounded like Phil Collins, but it's actually Yusri Belgari rapping along to a Phil Collins song. He is multi-talented, but his first love, obviously, is kickboxing, Joe. And tonight, he has the opportunity of a lifetime. This is his third title opportunity, so for him, this means a lot. means everything to him to kind of get this win and this revenge. Last time he fought Visa, he wasn't really himself. He was trying to be a different character, trying to get in Visa's head, but he says in this fight, it's all about him performing his best, and that means being relaxed, being calm, and just being himself. One to shy away from the ultimate challenge. He puts his 5-1 and one glory record on the line for a shot at the title. Here is Donovan Visa. Donovan Visa. His nickname is the Dream Chaser, Joe, but tonight his dream can be reality. If he wins the middleweight championship of the world, it's the moment he's been fighting his whole life for, and now it is right in front of him. Yeah, and he's so calm and collected, but he knows what's on the line here. And for him, it's really wanting to represent Holland and Suriname. I mean, we talk about the list of amazing fighters from Suriname, and he wants to put his name as one of those world champions from that country. 15 wins, only one loss, eight coming by way of KO. This is the opportunity he has been waiting for. Can he get the job done against a man he's already beaten once? This is our tail of the tape for the middleweight championship of the world. As expected, Yusri Belgari with a height and reach advantage, but last time he couldn't exploit it as Donovan Visa won by decision. Visa the favorite tonight here in Rotterdam. Fight of the evening, five rounds for the interim middleweight championship of the world, Yusri Belgari and Donovan Visa. He stands six feet, five inches tall, 1.96 meters, and he weighed in at 187.2 pounds, 84.9 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Tunisia, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Yusri Belgari. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner. He had a successful debut at Glory 59 Amsterdam and comes in on a four-fight winning streak. As a professional, impressive. 15 wins with just one loss. Eight of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and officially weighed in at 186.7 pounds, 84.7 kilograms. Fighting out of Suriname, ladies and gentlemen, here is 
Donovan, the Dream Chaser, Bisa. Listen, you know the rules, yeah? Protect yourselves at all times, yeah? Okay, touch gloves if you want. Back to your corner. Last time, Belgori tried to intimidate Donovan Bisa. Mean mug him, stare him down. It didn't work then. A much more friendly Belgari tonight, at least until the bell rings. Scheduled what? for five for the middleweight championship of the world. So far, a good start from Visa, and I mean, my catch Visa coming in with those knees, and that's one of his big keys, because he knows Visa needs to crash. It's our fourth fight, fight of the night so far. Our first one was fantastic. Here's Donovan Visa doing really well. You gotta think, only 24 years old, 15 and one as a professional. And here he is in the biggest fight of his life. round here for Visa and a knee of his own and that has affected Belgari. Split him open. Busted him open and now he goes down. That's the one benefit of it. Look at this knee from Donovan Visa. Look at those oh. combinations setting it up. Hook, uppercut, splitting the guard with those knees, grabbing the head. I think it's going to be stopped because that looks like a, an open style cut, not one of those straight lines. Not only is blood pouring out of the cut, but it's also coming out of his nose as well. He may have broken his nose. Yeah, I mean, those knees, I'm telling you, they're just, when they land, oh. flush. Jeez. And then the way he continues to throw his combinations Stop it after. Stop it. 
And that is it. They waved it off. And he's done it. Donovan Visa, the dream chaser, has his dream come true in Rotterdam. He is the middleweight champion of the world. 24 years old to put on a performance like that against an experienced veteran in Belgari just shows how much potential he has as a champion. The way he stayed calm, collected, mixed things up, you know, took a big knee and then ended up giving one back, mixed things well. That's, that's a fantastic IQ for a young fighter. But then the third was all about Visa. Yeah, look at that timing on the knee. He used the punches. He knew Belgaro was going to move his head over. As he moved the head, he timed the knee. But look at that. Moved his head offline and then found that big punch. So look, those combinations shelled him up. Belgari moves his head right into that knee. That's fantastic timing. Then, instead of staying in the clinch, he exits, punches again, and then watch this little slip and rip oh. finish. And I'm pretty sure that's how Pereira ended up finishing Belgari too, with that overhand right slipping off. Oh. How did Belgari not go down right there? And right there. But I just love how he exited the clinch there and then started moving his head, boxing again, keeping his range instead of just sitting there waiting for the ref to break him up. That's the type of fighting we like to see in glory. Destined for greatness, and he has found it tonight as the 24-year-old is your new middleweight champion of the world as we look at our final punch statistics. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. Our ringside doctor has called a halt to this contest with an official time of two minutes, 10 seconds of that second round. Your winner by technical knockout and new middleweight champion of the world, Donovan Visa. Head of talent operations for glory, Robbie Terrors to present the belt. And now Mark Schaaf will be speaking with what is sure to be an emotional Donovan Bisa. Donovan, you did it again, but now it grants you the title of middleweight champion of the world. How do you feel? Thank you, thank you. I told you, I told you guys I would do it again, and I did it. Let's send it backstage and get our final thoughts from tonight's Super Fight Series from Mark Schaaf and Remy Bonyaski. Yeah, Remy, what a match this was, man. I know you were looking forward to this one, but did you expect this? Well, I expected uh, for Donovan to, to make pressure, and I, I, I saw Belgari backing up. But, uh, Belgari was doing his job. He's doing his job by making long punches, long kicks, and even the knees. But now you see Donovan, I think Donovan worked on it. He worked on, you know, dodging the punches, working, making the pressure. And he was sharp today. He was really, really sharp, and that's why he knocked him out. Yeah, well, he knocked him out with his signature. His I mean, signature move. I love that move, the knee. That's my, that's my signature move. I love that knee. So I was, I was happy that he, he could finish it like this. But, you know, both of these guys are strong. Both of these guys are, are really good in fighting. But one has to win. And that run on the knee. It was really confident, self esteem I was calm. En uh, ik vond het zelf gek. Ik dacht van, hey, voel ik, waarom voel ik geen spanning? Je weet toch, is het wel goed? Voel ik me wel goed eigenlijk? Ik begon twee van ze kregen. Maar ik weet, het moment van daad moest ik het gewoon doen. En ik heb het gewoon gedaan. Your winner by technical knockout and new middleweight champion of the world. In het vorige gevecht die hij en ik hadden, ik dacht van, ik ga hem nog coach slaan. Je weet toch, ik, want hij, hij kletste veel met zijn mond. Maar uh, dit gevecht was ik gewoon kalm. Ook al wat hij zei, ik dacht van, ik kom me focus. Ik weet wat ik ga doen. En ik heb het ook gedaan. Toen ik hem sloeg en hij ging neer, dan zag ik die snee, keek van, is het echt diep of niet? En toen ik de dochter zag, dacht ik van, oké, okay, je weet toch, dit, dit is toppen, dit is toppen. Het is kerst op de taart toch, uh, het is veel beter, veel leuker. Eerste keer was het ook lekker, nu is het lekker door, je weet toch, 2-0. Dus uh, het is alleen maar beter voor mij. Ja, ik ga binnenkort naar Suriname, ga ik het daar vieren. Ik weet nog niet hoe, ik weet nog niet wat, maar het gaat wel gevierd. What makes Donovan Visa so good? Well, I think he's so young and just so confident. His ability to come forward, move his head, use counter punches, and then when he touches you, he just has good knockout power. And we've seen him once he beat the Belgaris, the Jason Wilnesses. We knew he was ready for these bigger fights. Well, he's already beaten Belgari once, but he knows tonight it'll take a much stronger effort to do it again.